Hi, everyone. I don't have a face cam, so I just put, you know, stimuli on screen. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I didn't want to use face cam today because I wanted to just talk. Um, so I just decided to put, I just searched up gifts. I just searched up generation lost gifts and I got this. So, yeah. But welcome, uh, to another, uh, generation lost little showing some unused content slash behind the scenes slash talking about how stuff happened stream. Uh, this is probably going to be the last, like, the last stream that I have an entire stream in which I talk about it. Um, I am going to be doing some behind the scenes streams. Um, so it's the, it's the last one before we do, like, official behind the scenes streams. So you're still going to be getting, like, three more streams where we talk about it. So don't worry. All right, we're still going to, we're still going to talk about it. Uh, but, you know, this is probably going to be the last one where it's literally just me showing, like, you know, random content and doing stuff. Um, so yeah. I had a dream. I had a dream that I was Spider-Man. Today. And it really, it really pissed me off that I woke up and I wasn't Spider-Man. Like, seriously, like, I have never actually been upset after I wake up from a dream. But, like, that was so cool that I was so pissed off that I wasn't Spider-Man. Like, it was so awesome. I could just go on, like, walls and stuff. I was, like, I was, like, impressing people by, like, jumping onto things, you know? It was crazy. And then I woke up, and I, like, I don't stick to walls. Like, I, I threw myself out the window, and I got injured. So, like, that, that kind of sucked. That's fine. It's it's fine. It, it happens. It happens. <sighs> I'm pissed, though. I'm going to give myself lethal spider bites so that I can become Spider-Man. And then <laughs> be able to jump out of windows. That's my goal. Anyway, let's let's talk about the show, shall we? So it's now been, like, what? Four days since the finale. Um, so, once again, if you haven't watched it, I fully recommend that you watch Generation Loss. It's very cool. I very much enjoy it. There is going to be a special Founders Cut coming out within a month. Um, so, if you do not want to watch, like, all five hours of the stream, then you can get, like, a condensed version of it that's going to be out within a month. Uh, it's going to have extra story bits. It's going to have extra things. Um, it's going to, like, confirm some things, debunk some things. It's basically going to be, like, your one place to understand Generation 1, essentially, is what I, is what I want. Um, and I've, I've, always, I've always kind of planned to have a Founder's Cut of this. Um, because, fun fact, a lot of the stuff in this show and a lot of the actual deeper lore in this show is, uh, a lot, some of it is improvised. A lot of it was written out and a lot of it was, like, there. And we had, like, set rules and everything. But there were certain things that we were just like, oh, this works really, really well, actually. Like, um, Frank. Frank was literally added, uh, as, like, a bit of just, like, hey, what if Sneak just had, like, a skeleton? Right? And then afterward, we kind of realized, like, oh, we kind of realized the implications of that. Um, so then our set deck people were just like, let's just make, like, a paper that says that he's deceased or not not diseased deceased same thing um and like it was the same thing with like the slime and everything like we we added that slime bucket like literally the day before uh just to like because we were just like we were improvising some stuff and it was just like oh this worked really really well so let's do this um so that's why i really really like this show because it's like so much of it worked out really really well that like it was it was really really cool. It was just it was just sick. Um, yeah. Thank you for the thank you for the five two ones. Thank you. Um, yeah. No. There was a there was a lot that we were that we were like added in everything. We were just like, wow, this works really really well. And yeah. So I really really I really really um, again can't thank you guys enough for supporting the project. It means a ton. I have been able to uh, fun fun thing. Using the merch and everything, I have officially, officially been able to pay off, like, almost half of the show. 
almost almost half of the show. We've done it. We've done it. <laughs> we we so thank you if you've bought the merch. Uh the merch is going to be up for like another like 10 days. 100% of it is going to go back into the project and everything. So if you want to. Um but yeah, that's it's kind of that's kind of funny. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so let's get into just talking. Let's just get into talking about stuff. Um, so let me see. Uh, let me see if I can like just pull up the VOD and we'll, we'll just like scroll through the VOD and I'll get inspiration to talk about certain things. All right. Let me, let me pull up this, this VOD right here. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me move chat. We move this. We use studio mode. Uh, firm. Okay. Add this. Cancel this. Wait, add this. Okay. Change it to that. There we go. Do this. I don't know what this looks like. Oh, there it is. It's underneath everything. God damn it. Hold on. Have to push it to the to the top of everything. There we go. Okay, that. Oh my goodness! Give me a second. <laughs> I'm just getting up. I'm just getting up the uh, the vod. Okay, I'll just. <laughs> it's gonna be really weirdly cropped. Hold on. Let me see if I can like move it. Oh my god! I've I've done this completely incorrectly. I've done this completely incorrectly. That's fine. You know what? It's gonna be. It's gonna be a little bit scuffed. It's going to be a little bit scuffed, but it's okay. So this is what it's going to be. This is what you're going to get. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit scuffed, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, so this is the... Uh, hold on, let me, let me turn off the music. So... Can you guys, hello? Why can't I hear it? Can you guys hear it? Whoa! Just like there was just a loud bang. Wait, why can't I hear it? Hold on. <laughs> what? Did I mute the site? No, I didn't. What is going on? I know that this music isn't copyright because it was made by, uh, by Nathan Hanover and he did a fantastic job and it's also not copyright. The audio is just gone for me. <laughs> Why is it just gone? It was working. Okay, whatever. All right, it's fine. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait. Why did why is it doing that? I'm actually why why does this always happen? This always happens. I always have like such a cool thing to show you guys and then it's like we're just you know, we just go and then just stuff happens. And then I have to do all this stuff. Professional. I am professional. Output device. Is, oh my god, the output device was on music. <sighs> okay, now it works. Whoa, look at that. Look at that sad sack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at that guy. Yeesh. All right, let's put the quality up. 1080p. Um, okay. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to skip through this because I know that you guys have seen this uh, many, many a time, many a time before. Um, but let me see. Let me see if I can. We're not going to. I have like three VODs to get through. Okay, we're not just gonna, we're not just gonna instantly do this. But fun, fun fact. Okay, hold on, let me find it. So, oh, first off, okay, so there's this dimension door. Where is it? So you know how you guys can keep on choosing dimension doors. There was a third one. So there was this one. There was uh, the forest, which you see in the beginning, and then there was a third one that no one that you guys didn't choose. Uh, let me pull that one up. There was, there was genuinely a third one. Um, that we did not get, 
did not get picked. Did like that you guys did not choose. Hold on, let me let me show it. So it's a quick one, and it's honestly one of my favorite. I think it's my second favorite. So I was very, very heartbroken when you guys did not choose this one. Because it was genuinely like my second favorite out of the entire out of all of them. Um so it is let me So here it is. Um, it's it, it's okay. Now <laughs> it's one of my favorite ones, just because of the way that I act in it. Uh, this is a old uh, amusement park that we went to. It's this. It was right next to the beach, and it was right next to the forest. Um, and it was an old amusement park, which we were just like, "This is sick. This is so cool." Um, so we like had to use it for something. So we used it. Apologies for the um the quality if it's a little scuffed because it's like you know streaming and everything. But um, it's this. <laughs> it's, it's just me being pissed as, we, as the amusement park gets nuked. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, man. So, yeah. So, that was the one that you guys missed. Um, it's just... It's just... It's just me getting pissed that there's, like, a third dimension that I just didn't see. And like it was so, I'm I was so upset that you guys didn't that you guys didn't choose it because I was like, this is so funny. Um, let me get some of the. Uh, well, okay, this one's this one's just my favorite dimension door. Um, yeah, I love this. I my the slime dimension is unironically my favorite one. It is unironically just my favorite one. Like it is so funny to me. <laughs> yeah, baby! This is what it's all about. This is the slime dimension. It's all slime. We got goo. Oh, we, we got, got gunk. We, we got, got sludge. sludge. We got ooze. We... Holy shit, we got ooze. No. What do you think? Oh, it seems like a sticky situation. I'm gonna lock this this time. No. I'm gonna fully lock it. No. I'm gonna lock it. <laughs> it's my favorite. Hey, 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 hey. It's my favorite one. I love it so much. Because it's so, like, just terrible. <laughs> it's so terrible. <laughs> but it's my favorite one. It is so funny to me. It is so funny to me. Um, yeah, and then let me see. Let me see what else we got in here. Uh, we got... Oh, let me show... I know that Charlie might want to show some of his confessionals. So I'm not going to show any of his. But I'll show some of mine. Um, some of my extra ones, um, because you know the you know the confessionals, right? You know the um the confessionals and everything. Um, we have like there are around eleven, and we used like three. There were there were eleven confessionals that that were that were prepared, but we only used like three. So we have like a lot of <laughs> we have a lot of confessionals. Um. So let me show you guys, let me show you guys one of my favorites. I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys all of them, but I'll show you guys one of my favorites. Okay. <laughs> so the reason why there's like time in the beginning and the end is apparently for them to like be able to queue it up. Um, let's see. So that's why there's like time here. Yeah, I'm a little stressed. Yeah, like that. So that was that was supposed to be used, and then there's another good one. Um, let me see. Oh, also apologies. I don't know if this is happening. Yeah, apologies if there's gunshots in the background. By the way, <laughs> just so you guys are aware, I don't know if I'm allowed to explain why there are, but apologies if there are gunshots in the background of this stream <laughs> I, I swear there's just it's the dumbest thing it's the dumbest thing oh man let me see <sighs> hold on let me let me see let me find another good one 
terrified. Yeah. No, I'm I'm very scared. Yeah, so there's just there's just some <laughs> ignore them. Okay, ignore them. All right, hold on. Scared. Um I would say that this is probably the worst experience I've ever had in my life. Um which surprisingly isn't a lot of experiences, but this is definitely a peak. That's me. a little bit of lore. That's a little bit of lore that was missed. Not a lot of experiences because of the, you know, yeesh, because of the mind stuff and all that. Ooh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, so those are some of the confessionals. Um, yeah, I, I, don't know, I don't know how many more we have, but I, those, are, those are some of my favorite ones. Because of the, because of the yeesh, because of the woo, um, <laughs> because of the garsh. Uh, let me, let me see if there's any other stuff that I can, that I can show off. Oh my God. Okay. So, you know, Charlie's intro, right? Charlie's just amazing, iconic intro. Um, they didn't cut to the camera that he was looking into because of the fact that the camera wasn't framed correctly. So, um, <laughs> so hold on. You can see here, hold on, I'm going to show you guys, because I have access to all of the cameras. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what it looked like. I'm going to show you guys what it was, and I'm going to show you guys um, what it was supposed to be. Or what, what, the, what the camera that he looks into. So, oh yeah, by the way, for the bats and everything, on, the, um, on like the first day of rehearsal, like the first dress rehearsal, um, the guy that was throwing the bats threw them all at once, and I nearly crapped myself. It was terrifying. He threw them, imagine like, so you know like these, they're like the bigger bats, right? Imagine like seven of them just crashing down. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it was terrifying. Um, but then we were just like, yeah, maybe, maybe throw them a little bit slower so that we can extend the bit a little bit. How did, you, how did you blow on it? I like put it underneath my mask. I put it, I put it underneath my mask. Hold on. Okay. Shoo. Shoo. This inventory system, by the way, is so cool. All right. <sighs> Finally, uh, I got all the- Boo, bitch! See, you found my cabin! So he just looks into the room, which is not the right camera. Look, and it's not his fault, because he was taught to, um, he was taught to, like, go into that one camera. But that one camera wasn't framed correctly, so he didn't use it. So let me show you guys, um, let me show you guys that camera angle of him looking into it. Because it is hilarious. It is so funny. Let me, let me show you guys, let me show you guys that one. So, so yeah, so it's a, it's, it's a good camera. Hold on, let me. Shove it in there. Ugh. If it'll, if it'll, whoa. Sorry, the hard drive is a little, is a little mess, is a little old one. So if it'll. Hello? Hold on. You were playing just fine before. What's going on? Hold on. Let me re let me refresh it. Let me refresh it. Hold on. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. No, we got it. We got it. We're good. Let me, there now. Let me scroll through it. Let me scroll through it. <laughs> there it is. Okay. So you, you guys are just gonna see me just tear into a bat real fast. All right. So ignore there. ignore. Uh so the key fell oh. out. <laughs> the key was not. Well, was I I didn't grab the key, um, which was hilarious. You guys can go now. And then so so it originally it frames Shoot. it it frames it correctly on. here, all right. right? But I think it's because like it was showing Finally, too much of the side. Boo, bitch! See you found my cabin. See there he goes. So he plays into the camera there. <laughs> he just gets oh, enveloped no. by the. Sorry about all the smoke. I do that a lot. Yeah. I just had him load up a lot of that. Woo. <laughs> Jeez Louise! <laughs> yeah, fuck God, that's, I vape a lot. That's probably the um the POV that we're gonna use in the Founders Cut for it, because that is such a good, that is such a good bit. <laughs> that's probably that is probably the thing that we're gonna use, um in the Founders Cut, because it is it's a good it's a good bit. Um yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of different camera angles because I've been just scrolling through them that like work so much better. Um, I think that's all I have for, like, the first day prepared right now. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's really, really funny. It's really, really funny. Let me, let me see if we can, let me, let me see what I can scroll through and talk about as well. Um, this, go, if I do this, 
You see how many edits there are? Yeah, the, the hashtag on TikTok has like 80 million views or something. It's crazy. Thank you guys for making content of this. Because now, when I release the next bits, people will be interested in it, which will be fantastic. So thank you. It's also just really cool to see. I also just love them. One of them made me cry the other day because I was like, damn, this story is so sad. <laughs> It's so sad, dude. I'm sorry. I didn't... There was so much that, like, I changed, like, literally in, like, the days before the event. That just made it so much more sad that I was just like, yeah, let's just, like, let's just make this, like, just awful for them. Because originally, fun fact, originally, uh, this was changed, like, almost right before it happened, right? Because we were trying to figure out uh, the hedge character a little bit and we were trying to figure out like what is his main motivation at the end um, and originally it was just going to be a straight live or die right it was just going to be a straight like no implications either he gets out or he doesn't that that's what it was going to be um, but then I was just like I don't like that you guys are just going to choose live um, so <laughs> I I turned it into this thing where I was just like okay let's make it so that either I am trapped in the show for all of eternity along with the other cast members, or I die. So then we're going to do that. And then we, we changed it, and I liked it a lot better. Because I was like, it'd be, it'd, I, wanted to, I wanted it to be a moral dilemma, right? And it didn't feel like a moral dilemma to me because it was just like, yeah, this guy has done, this guy has done nothing wrong. Um, so originally the plan was to try to make him, like, an unlikable character in the third act. Uh, so there was going to be, like, this entire thing where I would have the opportunity to save people, but then wouldn't, so that you guys would see how bad of, like, an actual, like, character, um, like, Rambu was. And that's, that was the original plan, but I didn't like that as much. It didn't, so whenever I'm writing, right, I have a feeling in my stomach. If that feeling goes away, then I know that the story is good. If that feeling is still there, then I know that it's not what I want it to be. So I still had that feeling in my stomach with that, uh, with that time. So um, I still had that feeling in my stomach. So I was just like, I was like literally brainstorming with everyone. I was just like, okay, let's figure this out. And let's make this let's make this better because I don't like the direction of the third act right now. Um, so we like got we like just like literally we were just brainstorming and everything, and I was just like spouting off ideas. Um, and then I think like I I came up with the idea of just like what if they just join? What if it's either they join the show or they die instead of a live or die? And it's just a messed up trolley problem. Um, so then I was just like, yeah, that works. I like it. It was good. Um, I really, really like this version. I like this version a lot better. Um, but I'm also just like, man, it would have been really fun to play a evil character for a little bit. Um, but then we were just like, no, I didn't like it as much. Um, because originally, it was actually during that Puzzler Shrine scene uh, between me and Charlie. It was originally going to be me going like, yeah, I don't give a crap. It was going to be a different word than crap. Um, about everyone, about everyone else. Okay, I just want to get out of here. I just want to find. We can, we can maybe save them later. But the what, like, what's important? It was gonna basically be like this, like really thing of just like, I only care about me at the end. You know, like it was gonna be that. Um, but I didn't think that that worked as well. I didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't like it. <laughs> so then we we like changed and everything because I was just like, I just still don't like this. just say the word no that's the thing is that i you guys i don't like it just doesn't come out of me naturally that's the thing it just doesn't it just doesn't come out of me naturally i'm no longer i, I it was because i was playing a character right if it if like the, the thing is though is that it, what i what i am changing is that if something ever does happen i'm just not gonna hold it back but it's just not a part of my regular vocabulary that's the thing like, if, so if something, if something happens, I'm not going to hold it back. But I'm not, I'm not going to, like, it's just not part of my vocabulary. All right, so let's, uh, let's scroll through and see what else we can find here. Uh, Christian Hell, infamous screenshot, by the way. Used to, <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> Absolutely infamous frame. Uh, yeah. Two years for this, by the way. 
Um, but this was this was improvised with me and Charlie, and it was so funny. Uh, we like went went in front of a blue screen with this door, and just like absolutely just riffed on it, and it was so funny. It was so funny, and um, yeah. So he just sent me to Christian Hell, and it was it was great. Why a blue screen? Because of this guy right here. Literally, the reason why we used a blue screen is because of this guy. We were just like, we literally cannot have a green screen because of this. Because of this. Like that is that is why. That is why. <laughs> it's because he's literally green. Um, the cooking bit. The cooking bit was one that was just like I was just like, what if we just did like Master Chef in the middle of this? <laughs> that was literally that was literally the thing of just like, okay, what do you do in a kitchen? You cook, and I was just like, okay, what if we just did a Master Chef parody? And then we did, and it was I I really liked it. Um, sad thing, really really sad news is that the audio for the dress rehearsal is is sadly gone. Something happened with it, and the audio with the dress rehearsal is gone. But I can at least probably show you guys a little clip of it. It's going to be silent, um, but I can show you guys at least a little, a little clip of it um, because it was, just, it was just so funny. It was just so funny. Yeah, I know. I'm sad about it too because there were some really, really good bits in there because um, we were just like messing around, just having fun and everything. Um, I think you can see – oh, wait. Yeah, I think, I think we can get the clips of just all – I think we can get the clip of just all the bats – just going, just falling down on the floor. Hold on, let me let me show you guys this. <laughs> I think I can show you guys the, the. I think I can show you guys the clip of just all of the bats just hitting the ground instantly. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is what I was wearing. Absolute, you know, icon right there. Um, I, this is me just like walking, pacing. I think just because I was just waiting for something to happen. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, I played this through the mask, which again, I'm really pissed that there's no audio for this, um, because it was really, really funny. You can see me, you can see me laugh when I do it. And then there's, <laughs> it's just all the bats. <laughs> it's just, it's just all the bats at once. It's just, look, it's just all the bats at once, and it is hilarious. <laughs> it's just all of them. <laughs> it's just all of them. And it was so good. Oh man, okay, hold on. Let me let me find now the one the one clip of of the cooking that I think was really really funny. Um where Charlie and I were just riffing this entire time and it was really really good because we were just messing around. And I, again, I'm so so sad that this did not get that this did not get like audio. Like I I am heartbroken about this because like we have we even have this bit. This bit is hilarious and there's no audio for it. Like we just we just spell out boys beb on the, on the thing and it is it is hilarious um it's just we just spelled out boys beb so yes yeah, so we were just like doing all that those are the wires by the way here are the infamous wires um that singed into my back um so for those of you who don't know i had to go to the hospital after the first day because i had second degree burns on my back because when I sat down at about like halfway through the show, um, I felt like a scratch on my back. And I was like, what? that was weird. Must have been like a wire scratching me or something. And then I kept on feeling a scratch. And I realized that like, this is a wire that is like going into my back and just burning me. So I was just like, I just have to keep going. It's been, it's been a year of development. You know, I've got I've to figure this out. Um, so then we just had to do that for a bit. It wasn't the mask. It was on my back. It was wires that were on my back. Um, hold on. Let me find. There's a one good bit between me and Charlie. Again, absolute devastation that this is, that this is, you know, that this is, you know. Oh, wait. Okay. So this is, this is a good bit. Charlie and I, Charlie and I wanted to do this more, but we weren't, what we didn't during the show. Uh, mainly because I had like the biggest nerves of my life. Um, but basically we would like set up things. We would set up bits during the cutaways. Um, so we would like, we would like be doing some things and again, there's no audio for this sadly, but we would just be setting up bits to like cut back to during the cutaways. So this is one where we would just, we would just be playing just back and forth with the, with the fake apple <laughs> and it was really good. It was a really, really good bit. 
Um, again, I this is lost media, and I'm so sad that it's lost. Um, because it is just so funny. There's a there's a turkey just in, just in the blender. Um, but yeah, that's that's a lot of the first day. <laughs> I'm so sad, but um, but we do have audio for like the second half of the dress rehearsal. So they fixed it like midway through. Um, so we do have audio for the second half. So maybe there's some good bits in the second half and everything. And we also have some bits from the uh from the dress rehearsal for day two as well. Um, fun fact, uh, which probably can help explain some things. The first dress rehearsals for every single day, the first actual run-throughs that we would have, were the day before the show. Um, there's some stuff happened where we were supposed to have, uh, rehearsals and run-throughs, like, the week before, but because of, like, talent and everything, and just because of some stuff, we had to just do a single run-through the day before. Um, so I'm really happy that things turned out really, really well. Um, but yeah, that's, it's like literally the first time that we had everyone on the saw set was the day before for day two was literally the day before we had, we had gone over it a little bit, but there was some, there were some things, um, like literally, uh, Ray and Ray and Sykuno's role as well. Um, I originally had the idea of them being uh detectives uh because i wanted to parody the cop plot in saw so i wanted them to like come in you know and i wanted them to like you know like go like okay hold on what's this what's this supposed to be and they're like investigating it uh, meanwhile the puzzler is just being like oh that's that's nothing that's nothing um but then like obviously i wanted to make sure that they were comfortable with their roles and everything so then i asked like hey what would you guys like we they were given basically the choice between rats and detectives uh and they they chose rats they chose rats so i was just like you know what all right um but yeah so like literally literally that happened in like the day before so there is there is there is going to be a, like a really a really good detective bit but i'm also really happy that they were just having fun being rats um yeah it was pretty it was pretty sick uh let me see what i can show more of you guys about the first day well no i want to continue talking about that's the wrong thing. Um, there it is. Okay. Whoop. There we are. Um, so, fun fact about this. Uh, so, you know the apron. Hold on. Let me go to the end of the cooking bit. Let me, let me go to the end of the cooking bit. So, I needed to take off this apron because for continuity's sake. I needed to take off this apron for continuity's sake. Otherwise, you know, uh, it just wouldn't have been good. Man, this cooking bit was long as hell. Um, I needed to take off this, this, this apron, uh, for continuity. So what I, what I did is so Charlie just knotted it. He didn't tie it in a bow. He just tied it in a knot, which was not supposed to be what he, like, it, which was not what I had planned. Um, so like, I'm trying no, to take it off. And I just, I just rip it. I just straight up just rip it off because I was just like, I, I need to take this off, but I don't know how. It's just knotted, like, tightly in the back. I was just like, oh, oh, boy. Um, the apron? So, so oh, I just yeah. took Here, it Here, let off. me try and help and you with the apron. Again, all right, all right. Literally, literally, in my mind, uh, this is why I'm probably, like, I don't want to act or improv in a show that I am running for a while. Uh, simply because of the fact that in, in, this, in this little guy's brain right now, there is literally every single part of the show, of all three parts, running through my mind at every single moment. Like, I was so stressed during every single part of this. Um, because also, I was, I was about, well, I didn't get burned, but I was about to get burned. Uh, here, let me show you guys if you can see exactly when I get burned. Um, so, I think it's when I kneeled down. Absolute banger tune, by the way. Wait, okay. where am I? Nathan did pretty good. Uh, so, I think right here, when I sat down, is when it scratched. It was, like, right here on my back. Where am I? Um, no, come on. This and, like, it was, it was really odd. And then, so, when I'm laying down, I was just like, oh, God, this is, this is not good. Uh, I love Twitch oh, thumbnails. Man. They're always so oh. leading. 
Um, Must yeah. have fallen asleep or something. I so I want to. I want to see if I can see when I like, <sighs> like push my elbows back more. I I want to see when I if if you can catch when I push my basement. elbows back. I'm because like I I know what it felt like. Oh my god! I need to get better posture. Jesus Christ! Absolute gamer stance. It was when I was standing here as well. Is when I felt it. What the? So like, the reason why I'm so like stiff and everything in this, like, look, why is my pinky out? <laughs> why on earth? Charlie's in that box. Sneaks in the cage. Uh, there's you know Germa's dollhouse right here. Uh, which fun fact, really sick prop. Absolutely love it. Um, we we gave it to him for him to take it home. Uh, afterward, which is nice. very cool. But like, let me see. I'm oh trying to see if you can tell. This is when I like. I don't. I don't know why my hands are like that. I really don't know. Um, creepy basement makes sense, but I don't. My God. So I'm. Oh, there is like currently like volts of electricity just even, going into my back. There's so much to. And like it is. It is messing with my mind. It is just. It is just <laughs> messing with my mind. Like, I think right there, right there it hurts. This is, this is okay. weird. I don't like, I don't like this. Yeah, you can see, like, my shoulders go back a little bit. So, like, there is just volts just going into me. Um, oh, yeah, wait, let me see if I can get, where's the closer look at it? Hold on. Come on, where, there it is. Hold on. Ah, there it is. So, this is, this is a little close-up view of it. Uh, the lights worked and everything. All very cool. Um, yeah. Oh, fun fact about this as well. Uh, there was just on, on, let me find it. On this shelf right here, there was just a picture of just a dead body. Just, just a, just a straight up dead body on, on the, on the side of it. Like, I was not expecting it. it I, I found it during dress rehearsal and I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> Because they were just like, yeah, spooky things. Just straight up a dead body, which was hilarious. Um, but it was like an old photo and everything, so it wasn't like realistic quality. It was in black and white. Uh, but it was still odd. I don't know why it was there, but it certainly was. Oh, Sneeg. There's Sneeg. Sneeg and Frank. Yeah. Frank was, Frank was I think, Sneeg's idea because we were just like, okay, what, he should definitely have something more in there in the cage. Uh, and then we were just like, do we have a, literally on the day before in the dress rehearsal, we were just like, do we have a skeleton? And they went, no, we do not. And then literally the morning of the day of the show, we were just like, we got you a skeleton. We we're just like, oh my God, this is incredible. Um, yeah. Also, by the way, this staircase, my favorite gag of the entire show. Like one of my, one of my favorite gags is how there is just a staircase <laughs> when, like, it doesn't make any, like, cohesive sense. Like, it, it's, it's part of, like, the... So, a lot of the, um, the weird sets and everything and the, the continuity errors and all the breaks are very much done on purpose. Like, this, this, this was, like, definitely... Originally, we were going to have, like, maybe a ladder to, like, go up here and then to go down the stairs, and I was just like, no. Because I am really, really intrigued by... Uh, in The Shining... In The Shining... Uh, if you were to actually lay out uh, and, like, make a layout of the hotel based on the, like, the interior shots and everything, it is physically impossible to have the hotel be made in the way that it is. Like, there are windows where there's, like, other stuff. There's, like, impossible things. And that's what I wanted to play into with this. I wanted to play into, like, just impossibility. Like, I wanted to play into, like, yeah, I walk through here. There is a staircase. Everyone sees it. Sorry, ignore the gunshots. Um, but everyone sees it as just normal and everything, and no one and no one confuses it. So there's there was a lot um, that I that I really really wanted to do uh, that in this first one we were able to do because it's just like none of this makes sense. None of this just none of this makes sense. And it was very much inspired by the shining everything. And this basement, this basement as well, uh, is inspired by Cabin in the Woods. Um, it, because in the sort of, you know, like, uh, movie, in the movie Cabin in the Woods, uh, when they go into the basement, whatever, like, cursed item that they choose is, like, the thing that haunts them, right? 
Um, and I really, really wanted to play into that. So that's why there's just a bunch of like random stuff, you know, cursed dolls. We were just like, oh yeah, cursed dollhouse. And that was the inspiration for the set deck of this, of just like, just put a bunch of cursed objects everywhere. Um, because it's like, it's like Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods, in case you don't know, fantastic movie, uh, is a very, very good, like, thing of the horror genre and everything. It's a very good deconstruction of it, as well as just, it adds a cool twist to it. A uh, huge inspiration for this show, in general. Cabin in the Woods is a, is a huge inspiration for this. Um, like, probably one of the biggest. Um, but yeah, it's, it was very, it was, it was very, very cool. I really, really like this, uh, this old basement and everything. It's, it's, it's just, it's just a cool basement. Like, uh, <laughs> Charlie's just in this box, by the way. He was just in this box. Um, yeah, which is kind of hilarious. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So, um, let me think. The cage, the cage went through a couple of iterations, um, because of, like, just the space that we had. Like, it was originally going to be, like, a bird cage. Like, he was going to be in here. Not really. Like, it was going to be, like, a giant bird cage, which we thought would be kind of funny. Um, but then we were just like, no, I kind of want to keep him hidden. So we made this little, we made this little thing. Like, uh, again, a lot changed, like, literally before the show. Like, I, there was so much that changed before the show. And, like, yeah. So the reason why I have such good posture is because I'm, I'm still, I'm getting, like. And no to the cooking show. Absolutely just decimated. I'm getting absolutely destroyed by these wires. Um, so okay. I said no to the cooking show, and then no I was in here. It's like again, you said no to the cooking show. There's a lot that implies with that. Um, none of which, you know, I'm just gonna say implies. That's all I'm gonna say because I like to. There's there is a definite story here, but then there's also some like extra stuff. Let me turn it down a little bit and turn myself up a little bit. There we go. Um. Like, I don't even yeah. know. I, I, yeah, this is, I like it. There is, there is definitely an opportunity for a return to this universe. I'd say. There's definitely, there is definitely an opportunity for this. For, for a return. I'd say. Like, the, the, there is definitely plans for prequel, sequel to this, potentially. So. Uh, with you guys? Maybe. I don't know, but there is there is definitely like explaining. There's a lot more that I feel like in this, um, so there definitely is an opportunity for it. But that's not going to be probably for a little. Yeah, it's very it's very cool. It's very cool. Are we ever going to get the Lost Field incident? Eh. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. Um. <laughs> yeah. I'm stuck to. <laughs> I, this line so charlie had for some reason just the pure motivation to try to make me break like he had just the motivation of just like i'm going to try to make you break as much as i can during this show and this was the line that almost got me this is the line that almost got me. So, was him doing this. I said no to the cooking show. It was so and funny. I was in here. It's like, I don't even know. I, um. <laughs> I'm stuck to the bottom of the box. <laughs> Hang on, one second. <laughs> it's the funniest. It is the funniest thing of, like, I love it so much. It's so funny. <laughs> I'm stuck to the bottom of this box. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> and he just has a piece of cardboard on his leg. <laughs> he wasn't even joking. Yeah, no, I know he wasn't joking. So that's what made it so much funnier. He was genuinely stuck. <laughs> he was genuinely stuck to the bottom of this box. Because this is a this is a a little mixture of uh, glue and cornstarch and green dye. That is what this is. And it is like heavy. It is a heavy suit. Charlie is an absolute beast for this. Like, lit in every way. Literal beast, figurative beast, like, genuinely, absolutely wild. Um, yeah. All in for the oldest trick in the book. What trick? Where? You oh my god, Twist. I love Squiggles. I love Squiggles so much. You guys want to see some concept art for Squiggles? 
you guys want to see some 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 squ some squan some some squan sept art? I don't know. I tried. Uh, let me find it. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can find it. Um, because originally he was gonna have a much more modern approach. You know how he's like a suit a suit guy and everything. Originally he was going to have a much more sort of modern approach to him. Um, oh, where is this? Hold on. I I have I know I know what to do from user. Uh. What? Okay. Hold on. What? Uh. Um. Hold on. I have to. I have to find it. It's really cool. It's really cool concept art. I can't. Ah! Hold on. I have to find this. I have to find this. I have to find this. Hold on. Let me scroll up. Let me scroll up. Oh God damn it! Where is it? Where is it? Uh, is it in? Is it in this? I think it might be in this. Hold on. I'm looking. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. It's really, really cool and really, really sweet, and it looks really, really nice. But I have to find out where the hell it is. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, has image. Has image. Hold on. I'm scrolling? Okay, I've got it. Hold on. I've almost got it. If I just keep on scrolling, eventually I'll find it. That's how this works. That is just how this works. If I keep scrolling, then eventually I'm going to find it. Holy crap. There he is. There's the guy. I have found him. He is here. There it is. Um, so yeah, so this is, this is some, so this is some early, I apologize if I'm not supposed to show this to anyone, that, to any of the people that are watching, you have like 10 seconds to DM me. Okay, never mind. My, my actual producer guy literally showed it to me, so I think we're fine. Um, apologies in advance if I'm not supposed to show this. Um, properties, I have to rename this to dot, hold on. There we go. Almost got it. God damn it. The image didn't save correctly. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Found it. We got it. We got it now. I'm a professional streamer who prepares things and you, you know it. Um, so this is some of the early, early concepts of squiggles, a lot more modern. Um, but definitely like it was just getting like the general vibe that we wanted to go for. Um, yeah, I, I, I personally, out of all of them, was originally going to choose H um, because it would have matched Hetch a little bit more. It would have been cool, but then I wanted him to match the company more. Um, so this is, this is some of the concept art for him. You can see you've got his little emotions and everything up there. Yeah. So they're, all, they're, they're pretty sick. They're pretty sick. They're pretty cool. Once again, Ghost Commander did an absolutely fantastic job on the overlay. Like, absolutely incredible. Like, without a doubt. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, and then this is, the, <laughs> this is the early, early thing of Squiggles. When I was asked to, um, to like, describe what I, what I wanted, and I could only do it in MS Paint during a meeting. Um, so then I was just like, yeah, so his face kind of looks like this. <laughs> and then... Well, let me, there we go. So I went, I did this. <laughs> I was just like, his face kind of looks like that. So, so we, we went from this to that to squiggles. That was the, uh, that was the thing. Yeah. Yeah, I love him. Uh, squiggles, absolutely incredible. Love squiggles. Um, yeah. So that's, that's how we, that's how we sort of came up with squiggles and everything. That was some of the, uh, that was some of the concept art from the artist that made squiggles. Very cool. Yes, they were, they were an artist that, um, were, was hired by Ghost Commander. I'd like to get in contact with them so I can figure out who did it, but yeah. Pretty sick. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, let me see. Here are some early concepts for the UI as well. Uh, so sort of the user, the user, uh, the user interface. 
of everything. So sort of like how you guys interacted with it all. Um, yeah, so we got like the slime one, you know, we got some of the company ones and all that. Uh, and then like a little glitched one too, just for good measure. Those are some, those are some earlier ones. Uh, because the overlay, again, the overlay is like a huge part of this. It's what sets it apart in my opinion. Um, it, it was, it's, it's, it's the most fun. It's the most fun part of it. Um, okay, let's, hey, let, actually, me, let me go through some of this. I put the, ah, oh, shit. You were supposed to stand on the, could you just come forward just a couple steps? Yeah, like right here. Cause it's, that, it's, that, yeah, was a, that, that was the bit that was planned, by the way. I know that seems like an improv bit, but it was a bit for him to kind of stand <laughs> far away from it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was a bit. Uh, let me see. Let me see what else is there. So, yeah, so throughout this entire time, I'm just getting singed by wires. Um, it's the reason why... Oh, during this bit, you guys could have talked with Sneeg infinitely. It was literally a bit that we were just like... You guys could have actually just talked with him for an hour, and we would have just kept going. They only did it once. I know. They only did it once, but it was a bit that we were prepared for to go on for, like, actual hours, and you could just keep on talking to Sneak. I was saved. Yeah. The, the show length was saved, and Sneak's, Sneak's conscious was saved. Um, but, yeah, we could you could have done it for, like, literally 10 hours. Like, we, we would have kept going. Like, like literally, it was a, it was a, a, a planned bit. Uh, it's just like, if they figure out that they can keep on talking to Sneak, then we are just going to keep letting them talk to Sneak. And he is just going to keep on having to come up with stuff. Um, so, originally, I get all tucked in and cozy during this bit. Originally, I'm supposed to be all, like, tucked in. I get all tucked in, in into the sheets, under the covers and everything. I go all bedge mode and all of that. And I'm all, and I'm all comfy. But if I were to lay down, the wires would have gone directly into my back. So I had to sleep in this, like, weird-as-hell position. Um, which, by the way, I don't know how many people immediately caught on to this, so I may just be speaking to people that I already know. This is a Nightmare on Elm Street reference, this entire thing. It is literally, like, the reason why I randomly fall asleep is just because I really wanted to do a Nightmare on Elm Street reference. Um... It, we we just actually did it the same way that they did in the uh, in the movie and everything, um, because again the first episode is supposed to not only represent like the first era of horror, but it's also supposed to represent like you know like sitcom style, like early cheesy TV and all that, um, and it's supposed to represent like early horror and everything, which is why we only make references to like early horror. Um, so yeah, so that's why this one. So I'm just getting I'm getting singed, you know. While, you know, ignore the gunshots. Um, while doing all that, this one's like a little funny little Jesus reference up there. Um, yeah, good, good, good Charlie bit. Good Charlie bit. When he went, hold on, let me see. When he went, hold on, let me, there we go. <laughs> Penis. Yeah, see, like, he's trying to make me break, and he's trying to make us break with everything. He's trying to make us break with everything that he says, and that almost got me again. It was so funny. It was so funny. <laughs> like, you can see me, like, trying to, like, readjust to try to, like, you know, get the wire off oh, of my back. But here it is also scare just burning me. <laughs> I'm so glad we installed this soft, pliable, cuttable wall instead of a real one. <laughs> The structural <laughs> integrity and general value of this home is low. <laughs> and what's scarier than that? <laughs> Ghouls, get in there. <laughs> Ghoulio, Ghouliet, yes, make scarier sounds. Scary. Bwah. We bwah, 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 bwah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. You're in classroom, pissing pants, shitting <laughs> pants. You're baby. You got F, F. You're in hell, Christian hell. 
in the in the founders cut by the way this is getting just uploaded in its entirety i don't care the, just this bit just just the wall bit is getting uploaded just in its entirety from all angles <laughs> no maybe i don't know it's it's just such a dumb bit um no i might i might it's just it's just it's it's one of my favorite bits um yeah so then we've got this we have the oh my gosh my head i wake up again my mind is just fried at this point i'm sweating because yeah, of the I mean, I, you know a constant heat on my back um and then and then well we go through like three different pairs of scissors uh to open up this door which originally was supposed to work the first time there's the created creature love this guy um yeah and then this was supposed to be a, like a merch plug there was like a merch thing that was underneath this that I was supposed to like lift up. Um, but not only was this in the way of it, but Sneeg also lifted it up prematurely, uh, which was really, really funny because in the, um, so when Sneeg lifted this up, like in his first time in the basement and everything, in my ears, and I think in everyone's ears, you could just hear like uh, the guy that's like speaking to us, the guy that's giving us instructions, just go, no, no, no. And then you just hear, like, the, in the background of the control room, just, no! And it is so funny. It is so funny. It is so funny. Yeah, poor creative creature. And then this, this, that's a little QR code. It leads to, um, it leads to showfallmedia.com, which will redirect you to generationloss.tv. Go ahead, try it, and then buy merch. Um... Yeah, but originally there was going to be, it, it I, ha, I, I got the domain. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty sick, it's pretty sick. Um, there's a new item out, by the way, in the merch store. It's Hetch's jacket. So, I don't know how many people know about that, because I didn't advertise it that much, but we released it on the third day. Uh, is that, you can get Hetch's jacket, and it's pretty sick. So, if you want, if you want it, then you can. It's pretty sick. All right. Um, yeah, so this fight was just a fight to make him drier. It was, it was pretty funny. You guys were playing to win. We thought that you guys were going to play to, like, you know, be funny and all that. Uh, but no, you guys were just playing to win. Here we have, you know, welcome to episode two, which he literally says. He literally says welcome to episode two, I think. Hold on. I think you guys can hear it. And there's that. Again, I am just like, I am so happy right here because I'm just like, I really want to get out of this mask because it is burning my back. I really need to get the hell out of here because it is just burning my back. And yeah, then he appears. Again, a lot of the timing and everything is going to be fixed in the Founders Cut. We just decided, I just decided to be, I, I said we, but then it was literally just my decision to do this live and not pre-record it. Um, but I was just insane and I wanted to do this live because I was like, this would be really impressive if we did this live. Um, so we did. Um, <laughs> Good work, Brand <Rambo>. awesome. <laughs> The way that he talks is so funny. Isn't it? You made it to episode two. Yeah, so you made it to episode two. That entire thing happens. Uh, story continues, all that. And that, I think, is all the stuff that I have for the first episode. Very good episode. Really like it. You know, two years led to that, which is... You know, crazy. Yeesh. <laughs> I love that bit, sorry. Um, yeah, and then we have episode two. So let's, let's just go through some of the stuff with episode two, which I actually have a little bit of an Easter egg to show you guys for episode two. So I have in my hands right here the, um, the voice recorder that was used to play the lines uh, that from the end of episode two. It's the, it's the one with, like, the final, you know, thing from the puzzler. So, let me, let me show you guys. So, I, I, actually, I actually have it. It's one of the props that I kept uh, because I just thought it was really cool. So, you guys can see, it's this one. Wait, hold on. It's really quiet. How do I, how do I turn this thing up? I don't know if I can. Uh, let me just, like, put it really close to my microphone. This means I died. Yeah. So, it's that one. Um, he recorded three other ones. He recorded three other ones, 
that have nothing to do with the show. <laughs> so let me let me play you guys them. All right, here's some here's some exclusive stuff. He just he just kind of just went off and just recorded like three other recordings that have nothing to do with the show and were never going to be used. But he just he just did them for for some reason. Hold on, let me let me play you guys. Let me play you guys this first one. Hello, David. Seems you found yourself in a pickle. You see, you love pickles, don't you? They're your favorite food. You love the delicious taste of the brine, you love the saltiness, and you love how sweet they can be, too. So now you've got to eat 200 in a row. <laughs> This is fucking stupid. I'll do something else. Then we have number two. Hello again, Jessica. I know how much of a fan of vanilla ice cream you are. I know you love how delicious and sweet it is. And you eat one of these every single Tuesday. But you don't like chocolate ice cream, do you? Chocolate ice cream is disgusting and doesn't taste right. You like vanilla, you like strawberry. Before you is a pint of chocolate ice cream. You must eat the entire pint of ice cream to get to the key buried down into the chocolatey goodness. <laughs> In 20 minutes, the device around your neck will explode. <laughs> you have... How much time did I say? <laughs> I got to re-record this. Did I say 20 minutes? Let's go with 25 minutes. Choose wisely. And then we have, we have one more, which is this one. This one is my favorite one. This one is my favorite one. Because he was, he was just like sitting down because he was doing like some like camera tests and he was just recording these on, on this. And then we have, we have this one. We have this one. Which is this is like the final one. None of these, none of these are canon to the story, by the way. I don't think. Well, I mean, they they could be, but they they are they don't have anything to do with any actual like characters. But um. Hello again, Peter. Sorry, I'm currently on location recording this. I forgot I had one of these to do. I forgot I still needed to do this one. I'm at line at Starbucks right now, so. Yeah, that one's mine. Yeah, venti with hazelnut is mine. Before you stands three mannequins. Each, what's that? If my credit card got declined. What is it? Uh, I've tried this one. This one might work. Yeah. So those are those are all the lines that you just, for some reason, just recorded on it. And that is why that that is a very very good um, sort of. Example as to why there was literally no one else that I had in mind to play this character. Literally, like the entire second bit when I was planning it, when I was going over it, there was literally no one else in the world that like I that I could have chosen for it. Like there was no one else that could have played this role better than he did. So absolutely, absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. He was he was like genuinely perfect for it yeah so that's 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 the that's the fun little the fun little exclusive bit hold on let me let me go to the second episode but yeah no because i was i was literally yeah. oh this is me because no, i was I hey was what's up man how's it oh, going me because i was I hey what's up man how's it going oh dude it's going pretty good i'm doing sick i'm doing the streamer bit i'm doing the streamer bit you know oh you're doing the streamer bit oh that's kind of sick dude you're doing the streamer bit oh that's dude that's awesome you're doing the streamer bit of when you like talk to yourself dude that's hilarious dude you're hilarious dude this is such an original bit this is such an original bit and it's such a good original original bit no one else has ever done this before this is gonna be revolutionary done this okay i'm done Let's see here. Okay, let me get uh let me get to day two. It was really a revolutionary bit. Absolutely, absolutely love the um the starting theme or just the showfall media theme in general. I like sent over some like copyright free like stuff to uh to Nathan and I was just like I just want it to feel soulless and corporate. And then he sent me back this and I was just like, this is incredible. 
So, ba 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 ba. You know, it's like this and everything. Show's breaking a little bit. Uh, we had, oh yeah, we had a, we had a, we had a technical difficulty with a microphone. Um, because, fun fact, um, uh, Germa couldn't hear anything for the first, like, three rooms. He had to go off of what he was, like, seeing and what he could, like, barely hear through his inner earpiece. Like, he couldn't hear because, like, something, something happened with, like, right before. It's why some of the, it's why, like, there's, like, some weird timing bits, but that's about it. Um, it's also why, like, this is such a long starting soon. Um... Yeah, and and he he pulled it off just incredibly well. He played it off incredibly well. Um, so this was a this was a good this was good. I really I really like this because we wanted to we wanted to play off of like the horror and everything. Um, again, because again, a lot of this was very improvised. Um, literally, like came up with like as we were as we were kind of going along as we were rehearsing for it. And I wanted to establish like more of like a scary tone during this one, especially after the first day. I was just like, okay. Let's add in some things to make it a little more scary so that the stuff at the end is alluded to a little bit better. Because I, I kind of was just like thinking about that. And I was just like, okay, we need to, we need to add some stuff throughout. Um, so we did. Um, so originally, I wanted to play, we, we were playing this entirely seriously until I just die. Um, like, I, we were playing this seriously. I was just no, like, no, no. And that would then, have been awful, I, considering there's a lot more going on today. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, so then you can handle it. Yeah, so then there's like that. So then I just and just to make sure you know it's not fake. <laughs> so we were just like, this is serious, this is good, and then. No, 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 no! <laughs> Absolutely just Oscar worthy acting, by the way. No, it's funny because I don't usually react that way to being electrocuted. Usually I just kind of grin and bear it, so I don't really know how to act. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, I just don't react to getting electrocuted, so this was uh, this was definitely an acting challenge for me. <laughs> and then I just die. Just a little juice to test and see how you can handle it. <laughs> this just went on for just like just a little bit of juice. This went on for like a lot longer than I thought it would, but it was really funny. Oh shit! <laughs> Rambo, Rambo, you all right? You all right? Yeah, and then. You know, mask off for a little bit. Oh, I freak out. Turns on. That was on purpose. Um, that would have been. Yeah. So, ba -ba -ba. yeah. And then we have then we have the key bit, which was a good bit. This was this was a bit that we were just like, let's just show a bunch of keys, and then have them choose the right one on the first try. So what I'm doing when I'm searching through all these keys here is I'm searching through that there was like this one key that has like some red markings on it. Um, that I had to find and make sure. And I almost didn't find it in time. I think I'm okay. I, I literally, water. like, okay. like, literally, I found, I found it there. But, like, there was, I searched through this for way longer than usual. And, like, I was genuinely looking for the right one because I was like, oh, my <laughs> I God. One, the janitor, by the way. I do not know how to do this. Um, <laughs> like, it literally, I got, I got panicked during this moment. This is when I was, like, panicking. I was just like, oh, my God. What if I just don't find the key? <laughs> <laughs> what if I just don't find it? Um, so then, yeah. So then I find the key. We go through the room and everything. Uh, we establish the fact that, like, oh, you know, I'm just, like, recording this with all my rats and everything. Um, we, we establish, you know, the, the in-universe camera people just so that, you know, we don't have too much of a, of a break and everything. Uh, and then I turn off the TV. And then we have one of my favorite bits is the uh, Charlie surgery. Because this was, this was one of my favorite bits for such a long time. Um, why weren't they all the same? Because they had to see. The reason why, like, the mask is broken along the bottom or the rats have, like, the camera rats have, like, specific rat, uh, like, masks is because they had to see. So we had to make sure to, you know, kind of build around that and make sure that, you know, they could see. Um, yeah. Hello? I love, I love this Hello? bit. Charlie, Charlie literally, like, the day before, he was just like, hey, what, like, I know I'm supposed to be, like, screaming sometimes during this and acting serious, but what if I just play this, like, really stupid character, and then during the switch, we just scream? And I was just like, that is a fantastic idea. That is so, that is, like, exactly what I was thinking, but he said it, so it works. 
It was really, really good. He did, he did such a, everyone, everyone on this show, I, a lot of people have been saying that like, you know, like, oh, like Raymond did such a good job of writing this and everything. It's just like, uh, it was everyone else as well. I don't think that I could take like the credit for a lot of it. Cause it was just like, it was, it was genuinely like a lot of people's like suggestions and everything that kind of like fit into a lot of it. Hello? Yeah, and then there we go. Wake up. Do that. Then you need to find and the, the key. The cue, the cue for Charlie waking up. Uh, the cue for Charlie waking up was me like smacking my glove. So, <laughs> what a screenshot! What a screenshot that is. Um, all right. I just get to watch. This is great for me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the the <laughs> cue for Charlie to wake up was when I do this. Was when I smack this glove. Alright, and then we don't want to do this. Oh dude. Yeah. Oh fuck, dude. God. Oh shit. Are you a doctor, dude? I'm not I'm not a oh. doctor. I this again so hard to not break during this. This is LASIK. Dude, so, yes! So I'm looking to up my prescription, dude. 100, 100. What are you doing, dude? That's not where my that's not where my ohos are. Oh, is what is this Invisalign? What are you doing down there? I had to find I had doing? to find the little cut and everything. I'm what sorry. do you, What do you need those for, though? I, I'm not sure. What are you doing? Dude? What are you picking? Run me through what you're thinking. I'm so sorry. I no, need to. I need cool, to live. Dude. You don't aren't, understand. Aren't I need dudes, to live. Yeah, me. We all feel that. Oh shit, dude! Fuck! <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh my gosh! You're throwing open my gosh! You're bro. throwing open my fuck? gash! Oh, Oh, that is oh I'm gaping. You fully gaped me, dude. Look me in the fucking eyes. You just fucking gaped me, dude. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> oh shit. You could hear in in like my ear when we rehearsed that scene, uh he said like the same thing. Um he said like the same thing and like you could just hear everyone laugh. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh my Getty, dude! Fuck! Oh man! What is this? What is oh. this? Oh, what that's just from. I was about to lose the game, dude. I had to swallow that. What? I had what no game? other choice. I had no other choice but to capture that in such my a, stomach. Such a what kind of wet sick game trap. is this? What do you such mean, dude? You'll piece. find out, man. Okay. Um. But yeah. So we went through that. And did all that. Charlie, just was Charlie during this. <laughs> he was just. It was just him. Um, yeah, and then a little toilet, little, little, little saw reference there. Another little saw reference in a literal entire show that is just made of saw references, pretty much. Um, we can't get out. Just, uh... Yeah, and then this was, this was cool. This was, this was, so this carousel bit was the thing that, like, I, it was like, it was like the main part of this was the carousel bit for me. Like, it was my favorite bit going in. It was like the only thing, like literally the title of this episode, like when I would say it is that like, when I would like pitch it to people, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to put like streamers on the car on the shotgun carousel from Saw. And that's what I'm going to do. And then that was it. And that's what, that's what we did. And it was so sick. And it was my favorite thing. And then we had this like top down camera. I don't know how many times they cut to it, but the top down camera was kind of sick. I really, really liked it. The top, the top down camera was kind of sick. I was, I was very, very proud of it. Again, I'm just, I'm just skipping through to like things that I want to talk about because again, we are going to be going over this in more detail during an actual, um, behind the scenes stream. So I don't want to, I don't want to reveal too much. Um, yeah, a little, little sneak hat bit. That was a good bit. I liked it. I really, really liked this shot. I don't know where it is, but there's, there's a shot of like the hat being put on the hat being put back on sneak. There it is. Hold on. Okay. So there's that. <laughs> Sorry. The, 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 the yell that that clip opened up with was hilarious to me. Um, very, very good. So fun fact about this mask. Um, is that this is a misprinted mask that um, 
that it was supposed to be all of these, but they just kind of slapped the logo on one of them. And I was just like, this is just not correct. So then we did this. So there's only one of these. Um, this is just a misprint of the logo instead. And then I was just like, um, when we wanted someone to sort of run out and then get like sort of taken. So they basically, what happens in this scene is that uh, Sneak runs out, he sees the mall, like gets freaked out, gets dragged back. You can like see, you can hear it in some of his dialogue and everything, which Sneak did such a fantastic job with this. Um, yeah. And then, so then he gets, he gets like kind of pulled back and everything. And then we used, we used this mask because I was like, oh, this could be like a cool, this could be a cool like little, you know, signifying mask and everything. And then where's, where's the shot? Where's the shot? Where is it? There it is. This shot was kind of sick. Um, so everyone else is frozen. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't show it much, but essentially this paused everything. So we all kind of paused in place. And there's a lot more, again, in the Founder's Cut, there's a lot more shots that are going to be, like, shown to show that pause. Um, but this shot's just kind of sick. Because he's just paused. He's not even looking at, like, the camera and everything. He's not even looking at Sneak. He is just paused in his, like, certain way. But it, it does, it works out really, really well. It works out really, really well. I absolutely love. Like, again, this shot was not planned. This shot was genuinely not planned. Like, we have such amazing cinematographers that just caught so many good angles that, like, none of the, none, zero, the only things that were planned in regards to camera movement was where the cameras were. That's how insanely talented the cinematographers were on this show. Like, that is the only thing that was planned is where the cameras were. What they caught was all up to them, and they did an amazing job. They did an absolutely amazing job. Um, yeah, so then we have this. We have the carousel and everything. It continues to go. Uh, we have some more of this bit, which... Oh, I love this so much. I love this shot. Oh, we have... We have the... Um, Turner would love it. Okay. Guys, I just think you we, should... have, we have, like, the raw camera footage of this, and I'm going to use... I'm going to overuse this shot because, like, when they showed me this shot... There's like, I think there was like a thing where they were going to try to make it like the same speed as the carousel. It was, oh, it was so sick. Um, yeah, like just, hold on, where is it? Whoa, it was there for a second. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There it is. Wait. Hold on. He said he didn't get a Oh, hey, it's my favorite. I love it. Um, yeah, and then these were, these little, these little guys, uh, these little guys. So there was a lot of like, um, because I really, really like the, my, my favorite like sort of like visual style that has been done is I really, really like the sort of like video gamey effects in, um, in sort of Scott Pilgrim, like the, the movie and everything. Um, cause say what you will about the movie and everything, but I really, really liked the visual effects, the sort of like, you know, like in between of like video game and reality, like the sort of like. Uh, acceptance of that. I absolutely love that. Uh, there was a lot more that I wanted to do uh, with it, but again, because of like, because of just like, you know, possibility and how, you know, possible it was to do, we couldn't do it. But I wanted to do like, you know, like just a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff that I wanted to do um, that was very much influenced by sort of Scott Pilgrim and everything um, in regards to like the sort of like visual, like on screen things. Um, let me see. Okay, we're scrolling through here. We have this little candy room scene. Please look the wall. So true. Um, fun fact, when I put my hands on my mask here, uh, I put my hands on my mask at some point, and um, it was originally just me doing a little acting thing, and then I had a voice in my ear being like, is there something wrong with your mask? Because um, the, the person that made the mask, Anna, uh, she, she was like watching and everything, and she was just like, is something wrong with the mask? Because like, the, this, this mask and everything is... So cool. One of my one of my favorite things that was made. Um, but also because this was made out of individually cut pieces of metal um, that were that were like specifically made and tailored and measured to like my face and everything. Um, the wires and everything. Um, oh, fun fact about the ending scene. While well, I'm on the topic of the mask and the wires, uh, there are wires that sadly didn't show up as well in the shots. But I actually had a lot of wires going into my mouth. Um, but again, just because of the way that the shot was composed, it wasn't really shown all too much. 
Um, but yeah, there was just wires that just I just genuinely had just going into my mouth uh, during that last scene. Um, so do what you will with that. There were wires going into my mouth. Um, yeah, and there was also like wires that were like going to like connect to my skin and everything as well. Uh, so kind of sick. Um, so yeah, this is where we just played Mousetrap. Uh, this was <laughs> this was uh, German's idea of just like. What if we just had like a Willy Wonka room and have you guys play Mousetrap? And we were just like, that is such a funny concept. So then we did. Um, and then and then we have the bit of of uh yeesh. So this was this was changed in I think the day before. Um where originally it was just supposed to be one gunshot. <laughs> But then, because whoever whoever ends up in this room with us was going to die. That was, like, the rule of it. Um, originally, it was just going to be one gunshot. Originally, it was going to be one. Um, and then we were just like, what if they keep screaming? And he just does it again. And the ear. And the one and Sometimes, sometimes so, I would be the one that would hide the piece on my brother. So we have this. <laughs> Which is, yes, this is, this is a really, really a sad little... thing in reality. But it's also just really, really funny as well just the idea of just like this like mastermind puzzler guy just getting scared oh, we get to the very oh. Oh, oh my god oh. nikki is such an incredible actor as well can i just say like oh. so oh, and then so, they'll, they'll like sorry i'm well. so sorry i'm so sorry I'm, oh my god i'm so sorry i am so Every, sorry everyone, so just Incredible during this. Oh, that's not good. Dude, she scared the shit out of me. <laughs> so, oh yeah. So, really funny thing about this as well. Sorry, I was really um, the story Was that was we had an entire like safety briefing about this? This is a completely fake weapon. This is a fake thing, not real. Was never made to ever shoot. Um, but we still had a rule that like just in case, uh, <laughs> um, like I think in like the safety briefing. Uh, there was only like one person is only allowed to hold this and that is the puzzler, uh, right? I, uh, and then, you were there so, the whole and then time? he just hands yeah. it to me and it and freaked me out because I was just like, like wait, wait, hold on, what's going on? Going there? He just well, handed it to I, me and I was just like, I, oh I, my I god, okay, so that's why I held it so weird. I was just like, am I meant guys, to do this? Guys, guys, I'm still leaving out! Oh. <laughs> his face, his, his face in this is so funny. Like, and just look at you were like, his, his expression. Well, I, well, I, I had a whole thing planned when I was going to... Guys, guys, I'm still alive! Just, just like, you can see him right there. Hold on. You can see him right there of just, like, just, just general shock and awe, really. Of just general, general shock and awe um, that Nikki is still alive. Um, yeah. God, it was so it was so hard to not break during the show. Guys, guys, um, I'm still bleeding out. Oh, help, oh, please, I'm still alive. Please help me, guys. I'm still alive. Again, right. Nikki sold this. It was such a harrowing scene. Um, no, I need to talk to you. Hey, 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 guys. Yeah. Guys, I'm not, it's, it's cold. I, it's cold. I don't know what's like, Jesus happened. Christ, Nikki. It was so. It was so good. I'm so, it was so sorry good. about I this. I can't oh, see anything. Damn it. I mean, it's not me. It's this like, is not what I wanted. This is not. I can't happened. see anything. Like, oh my god. Again, again, there was a lot of improv during this that happens to line up really, really well. And like the I can't see anything, implying that like something was broken as well. Like, love it. Guys, supposed to be absolutely guys, love it. I'm so sorry. Guys, about this. Guys. <laughs> it's such a well-timed scream too. It's such a well-timed scream. It's such a well-timed scream. It's like that that bit is like one of the one of the ones that went off like absolutely perfectly. There was um, a whole thing that there was going to be And then we have this there, laser room scene there. which is just ridiculous. I, you know, like just just look at this. Like Hold on. Oh. <sighs> like okay. Like okay, so hear me out on this one. So we had this idea after like a this this scene came to us in a vision. Um basically we had like a 16 hour work day and we were still going through the second day and we were just like what if we just pre-record this scene and make it the most like reality bending 
just weird scene as we can. Um, and behold, this is where uh, the Charlie Towel was born. Um, originally, um, he was supposed to, in like one of the earlier ideas, he was going to like be like a sort of like, you know, like number, he was going to like just be like a voiceover basically. And like every once in a while, like I would like talk to him. Um, but then we put him in the, uh, in the surgery scene. So we couldn't really do that, but we still wanted to do something with this. Um, which, yeah, by the way, I have, I had the cursed idea of making like one of those like plushies of this and having it have, have like lines when you press it. I really want to do that. <laughs> I really want to do that. <laughs> Where it has like lines when you press it of like I'm like burning or something. It's it's really it's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Hey, it's me again. Remember when you turned me into a fucking towel? <laughs> like, this is the dumbest thing. This is the dumbest thing, and I love it so much. I love it so so much. Oh man, and then the, the, this bit as well is kind of funny. Um. Yeah, this this bit was good. Again, I'm gonna go everything over everything more in depth on the actual day. Uh, he was not supposed to break the door, by the way. He 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 did actually just genuinely break the door, like he was not not supposed to do that at all. But I I don't know. I don't know. It just kind of happens, I guess. Um. Yeah. Then this is when this is when we all kind of. I'll kind of do something. I think I have like multiple angles. Let me see if I can find like just this camera angle of the walk. Hold on. Cause I know I know the the infamous walk now. Let me see. When when does he do it? Everything you're doing is not what I intended. I didn't you can go mean, first if you want. So can we look <laughs> I need I need I'm to see sure the timestamp. Yeah. I need to see the timestamp. Yeah, so then this oh. is my total NPC walk. Um, oh! <laughs> oh yeah. my god. And then, and then you can see him like sneaking behind. It is yeah, the yeah, funniest yeah. thing. Uh, oh. Oh. oh my wow. god, Jim, man. <laughs> Again, this was just not this was just not a part of the plan at all, but it is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Um, the power! Yes! I thought that was pretty good. Oh, yeah, God. that's good. Oh, no. he, still, he just holds up the detonator. He just holds up the detonator for no reason. Um, but yeah, so we have, we have, then we have this aspect and everything. The black light room, which was kind of sick. Uh, Ethan's, you know, yeesh. Um, the, you know, him, him, him getting blown up because he dropped something. All of this thing. Also, fun thing. I don't know. This is like a little thing that I did. Um, when I walked into this room for the first time, Very cool, because you I was did. like, this can be fun. This can be fun little foreshadowing. Uh, this game is called Mall of America. This game is called Mall of America. Right here. So I just, I picked it up and I just stared at it for a bit. Yeah, again, there's a lot there's a lot that was missed, but be, because of the stream quality. But in the Founders cut, it's going to be like a lot more obvious and a lot more cool. Um yeah. And then we have all of this and everything. We have this scene. We have the ending bit, which this this from from here on, nothing has changed from the original plan. Like it, before, like, a lot of stuff had changed, right? Like, the entire second day had basically been, like, rewritten and remade. Uh, but this this scene was one of the ones that it's just like, I know that this is going to be cool. And this has to, th this is going to be a good scene. And so we just didn't change it. This one was, this one was like, I wrote this one, like, like months, I think. Like, we or we wrote this one, like, months, I think. Yeah. It was... Very, very good. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to say that I wrote things because a lot of this was very, very collaborative, and I feel I just just doesn't feel right. Um, yeah, and then we have this ending bit. We have this ending bit, which is kind of sick. Yep, and then 
This is where we reveal where I'm in a goddamn abandoned mall the entire time. It's kind of sick. What the fuck? Whoa! I can't say that. What the fuck is this place? Oh my god. <gasps> My mom just sent me like eye emojis after the stream. <laughs> no. Um, oh my God. Oh my yeah, God. but a, so cool thing about this is that all these wires and everything look like set deck. These were just the wires that we needed for the show, and we just didn't hide them because it works in in the show. We were able to be very, very just easy with the amount of wires that we were able to do. Um, because it was just like, yeah, we can just you know have all this. All right, uh, let's go to the third day. Let's go to the third day. Let me talk about the third day. I'll go over the third day real quick. Talk about it. Uh, and then and then we'll be and then I'll probably just uh, go and go and go and do whatever. I'll go and do something. I don't know. Something. I don't know. Ah, dude, what's up? No, I'm not gonna, I'm sorry. Dude, I'm what's up? No, I'm not gonna do this. 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 It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Oh my god. 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 All right. All right, so, day three, the most intense day out of all of them. Uh, this was the one that I was the most nervous about. Oh, hold on. Okay, so if you're watching this, I'm assuming that you've watched the show. Again, if you have not watched the show, but you've watched up to this, do not watch, click off the stream. Watch the show, okay? You are about to lose a lot of story if you watch this right now, okay? If you have not watched the show. So please watch the show first if you can, if you're willing to. If you don't want to watch all of it, maybe you just watch the last episode. I think that the last episode is pretty sick. All right? All right? I'm about to show you guys some. Ah, uh, nope. Mm. Okay, hold on. I'm about to show you guys a little something. It's a little, it's a little screenshot. Okay from day three, but I'm saving, I'm saving the actual footage for the Founder's Cut because of the fact that I really, really want it in the Founder's Cut, okay? I'm saving it for the Founder's Cut. Um, there is another angle of the box that is so much worse. It's so much scarier. Um, and it's what I'm going to include. So I'm gonna show you guys a screenshot from it. Let me see what I can do here. Is this it? Yes, it is. Okay, this is the one. All right. Wowie. Okay. No. Nope. Oh, wow. You know that sound. Um. Yeah. So here's a here's a fun little screenshot from it. Um. We're gonna add so much sound design in this after during the founders cut. It's gonna be incredible. Um. Here is a cool little cool little snippet. Cool little screenshot um, of the old box. That looks kind of sick. So you can see more of it and everything. It's kind of sick. Uh, yeah, the angle, the angle of you can see a lot more of the movement, like the the slight like twitching and everything that I did uh, to really like sell it and everything in this angle. And you can also see, like, underneath and all that, which is kind of sick. It's pretty cool. It's pretty damn cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it's, it, like, I watched it and it was, it was even more unsettling than the first ones. That's going to be in the Founder's Cut. So if you're excited for that, then if you if you like that screenshot then watch the uh then watch the founders cut because it has a lot of different angles and everything that i think are a lot cooler um yeah it's kind of sick kind of sick all right okay so uh this this day went pretty well i think this was the day where i was feeling the best about it uh this drone shot was pretty cool i had to take the dynamite off for continuity um we did all of this and everything. You can see some of the saw set. Uh, you can see this scene was pretty sick. There's just so much. There's so much that's so cool. 
Um... God, it's so, it's so sad. Um, so... This scene. This scene is the coolest one. Because just... Go. So, what he, what the camera guy did, is that he literally turned the camera to, like, face his back, basically. And he ran forward. As we just sprinted. Shit. Absolutely incredible. I had to I had to slow down my running. Oh, no, I guess I didn't want to hit the camera and I wanted to stay in shot. But um it's why it's just it's not like a full run for me, but I don't know. I think they're human. I can't tell. It's really sick. I don't know. In here, in here, come on. Okay, okay. Yeah. Come on. Close the door, close the and door, yeah. so, also, I want you guys to think about this. He is behind the counter now. He is in the same area as us. Oh, Check this out. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Wait. This is where... This is where I was, yeah? Why was... Yeah. I... I was right here. Yeah. And I, I was just looking at all this uh, and I had no fucking idea. Yeah. How did they even get all this? What did I? Why didn't I understand? No, oh, there's there's stuff on the walls. Let's I just, just go. I had no on. idea. Just, we just gotta get out of here, man. Okay. Okay. Come on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're right. There's a hacker. There's a hacker. There's a hacker. There's a hacker. Go. We just okay. gotta get out of here, and then we okay. find. All right. So there was two camera people. One of them was hiding underneath underneath this counter. Uh, and then there was another, and then he is just crouched down right here. He's crouched down like right there. He's crouched down right there. So they they just kind of like moved it to them and everything and then this is oh, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus. absolutely terrifying oh, running up running up here that's gonna oh, be all Jesus. this not all of them. Not. coming in here running over there suba running up running up here absolutely oh, incredible on. Worked oh, out once so well. Such a good, oh, God, such a good scene. Um, then monster, monster at the gate, which I don't know how many people can tell, but this is the monster. Again, this is going to be a lot clearer because of the stream quality, but it's the monster trying to get in uh, to protect the button, actually, because again, the monster is security in this place. Um, yeah, so we go here. There we go. Walk here. We have this this scene, which some of the dialogue is going to be changed in this. Uh, in this scene, in the Founder's Cut, some of the dialogue is going to be changed in this because there were certain lines that were cut out um, that I want to add back in. Because like now that I'm like post it, I'm just like, okay, I think that this might work better. Um, so this is going to have some different meaning to it. Not 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 entirely different meaning, but it's going to be more clear as to what's going on, to what like this twist is supposed to be. Um, and then, let me see if I can actually find, real fast, some behind the scenes of this incredible running shot. Let me see if I can find some. Because I would absolutely love uh, to get some. Let me see, let me see if I can find it. Because the, the running shot took like so many tries, but it, like once we had it, it was like so sick. Like, absolutely incredible. Um, um, let me see. I don't think, oh, damn. Okay, so I don't, I don't think I have any right now. Unless, hold on. Oh wait. Hold on. We might wait, is this is this something? <laughs> no, that's just Charlie absolutely getting destroyed. Um Let me see. This is just a good image. <laughs> this is just a this is just a funny image. Of just <laughs> oh also you know what was going through my mind as the as the blood was running down 
It was, oh my god, I hope it doesn't look like I'm pissing my pants right now. Because it was only down, like, one leg. And I was just like, oh my god, I really hope it doesn't look like I'm just pissing right now. <laughs> uh, but that's a good image. It's just... Oh my god, I'm okay. <laughs> it's a good image. I like it. Guys, look, don't worry. I made it out. Um... Let me let me ask. Let me ask. Does anyone have any? Anyone have any of the uh, final? All right. I'm a, I'm asking to see if they have any uh, behind the scenes of the cabin run, is what we call it. Because a uh, cool thing in the cabin run. Okay. Let me show you guys this. This is my favorite thing. Little breakdown. Um. Okay. So this is this is one of my favorite things. Is in, in this scene, you can see them. So basically, this scene, right, in itself is sort of the, like, thing of, like, now we have fully broken the show, right? Now we have, now we have fully broken the show. Um... Um, so basically this, this now is like obviously in like cinematic and everything, and it's meant to sort of represent the switch in reality again. It's so now, right. It's no longer the stream, right. It's no longer like this, this thing. It is, you know, like an actual, like pre-recorded bit. It's a, it is a cinematic shot of things that are happening, which in itself already kind of alludes to the fact that the show is still happening right in in it in itself just having this be cinematic already explains and it already kind of alludes to the fact that like the show is already still happening right but no one noticed it no or not no necessarily no one noticed it but it's not something that you look into too much because you're like, oh, you know, it's just some, like, they're just showing cinematics and everything for, like, this final scene. But it's like, no, this is still a part of the show. And this is even just the fact that it switched to this format already kind of just shows that, like, it's already a part of the show. And we know that it's already a part of the show. Just in this general switch. Because everything else, right, the camera people are explained. They're, like, you know, they're shown and everything, right? And then it switches, and because you're so invested in the fact that, like, this character is, is, is dying and everything and all this is happening, you don't notice the fact that it is no longer a stream. You don't notice the fact that it is, like, out, it is pre-recorded. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't, it no longer makes sense narratively as the other scenes do, right? Because it's like, it, it no longer makes sense as to how this is being recorded, as to how, you know, this is being shown, right? And before... It is explained. It's always like we made sure to always explain how the cameras work, how the camera people work and how it's all shown. Right. And then this is sort of your first like, look, if, if you're like, you know, thinking about that aspect, you realize, oh, shoot, this is still being shown. This is still a part of the show. Their realities are still being altered. So. That is what this, that by having this scene be pre-recorded is supposed to sort of like represent, you know? And yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. So yeah, that's, so that's, that's why I really, really like this scene and everything and like this shot and all that. Because it's like, it's pretty, it's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. And then, uh-oh. Yeesh. Gulp. <laughs> oh, man. My goodness. What a, what a... Mm.
What a time. What a cool, what a cool visual. This is my favorite visual of the entire thing. This is my, this is my favorite visual of the entire thing, honestly. Like it is, it is such a cool shot of everything of the entire show of showing that, you know, like it is. Yeah. Hold on. All right. But yeah. I really like this. And then there's the hedge jacket. You can see it. You can get it. It's pretty it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Or do we want to see him? Yeah, play poor, guy. Again? poor guy. Poor guy. Poor guy. Poor guy. And then also this, I think that this is also important because it shows that like, you know, even this was that, you know, it's, it's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's. Sorry, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm typing, okay? I'm typing. I don't usually type. Um, but yeah. I just really like this episode. This one's my favorite. It's so damn cool. Like, the, these shots and everything. So damn cool. So damn cool. Absolutely love it. Also, um, just a, just a cool little character motivation thing that I want to explain. So people were saying, like, why was this guy, why was this guy stabbed? What, what motivated this character to do it, right? And my sort of character reasoning for it is that imagine you were just told that, like, essentially your reality, your emotions, your memories have all been changed, have all been altered and everything, and that, like, you know, basically, you've lost all sense of yourself, and you, there's not even, like, there may be a chance that you'll never get that back. You'll be pretty pissed, <laughs> you know? You'll be pretty upset. You'll, you'll want to get back at the people that did that to you, you know? Which is why, which is why this, you know, this happened, which is why this was done. Um... You know, it's supposed to represent sort of the the hope of everything. It's supposed to represent because there's like the banner in the back. It's supposed to represent because the entire time I'm only running away. I'm only like doing all of these other things. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm purposely avoiding any conflict that I could have um, with with these with these characters and everything. And like it's it's supposed to represent like, again, a change in a change in character, a change in like this is, this is it. I'm going to win. It's supposed to represent that kind of hope and everything with, with this stab. Why was it wires? Yeesh. Um, yeah. So that's what, that's what this is supposed to represent. It's pretty cool. It's pretty sick. Yeah, and then uh, let me. Oh wait, I got a, I got a, I got a clip of the, uh, of the, of the run. Or wait, let me see. Hold on, let me see this thing. Actually. Or it's not a clip of the run. Oh, but it is a cool behind the scenes. Hold on, I have, I do have a cool little behind the scenes thing that I can show. Ah! All right, let me see here. Okay. There we go, there we go. Okay, okay. Why do you use light mode? Shut up! Um, okay. Let's see here. I have something more Action. to show. It's a it's a little bit of a it's it's a little low res, but it'll work. There it is, okay. 
So this is a little behind the scenes of the, uh, of the first kind of like walk up into it, which I think is pretty cool, which I think is, which I think is pretty cool. So there were people just kind of hiding here and everything. And then it's just, a, it's just a little walk up. It's just a little walk up. It's kind of sick. Yeah, it was, ooh, oh. it's cool. It's cool. I love it. Again, we'll have, we'll have more stuff like that in the actual, uh, in the actual streams. You know, we'll have, we'll have more stuff like it in the actual streams, but, um, yeah, it's pretty sick. It's pretty damn sick. I love it. I'm, I, yeah, I could not be happier with how this episode turned out. I could not, I could not be happier with how this episode turned out, honestly. Like, it is incredible. It is absolutely incredible. Like, again, they did, oh, such a good job. So many cool things. Just, oh, absolutely incredible. Um, let me see. Let me see what else. Yeah, the liver, the liver die results as well were genuine, which is very cool. Um... You know, and it's, it's just all, oh. I'm, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Honestly, I'm, I, I'm overjoyed with it and all of the, all of the potential, you know, sort of, you know, problems and everything, um, you know, that like are not even problems. They're literally, they're literally just not even problems, but, um, they're like, uh, everything's going to be even better in the founder's cut as well. Which is gonna be, which is gonna be really, really cool. Which I'm like really, really excited to uh, to work on and release and everything. And it's gonna be pretty, pretty sick. It's gonna be pretty, pretty sick. The Lovejoy song, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was that was gonna be a thing. It was gonna play, I think, over the credits potentially. Um, but then just due to like due to you know just time and everything, sadly it couldn't happen. Um, but yeah, it, it it may it may you know make an appearance one day. I don't know if it'll be in the Founders Cut or not. I would assume probably not going to be in the Founders Cut, sadly, because, again, not, not enough, really, just, again, time. But um, definitely, uh, definitely you'll probably hear it one day. Maybe, maybe in a different generation of sorts. Maybe, maybe we'll be able to reuse it in a different, in a different generation because I, I think that it, will, it should definitely be shown, you know, because it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. All right. Well, that'll be the stream for today. That'll be that'll be the stream. Um, I might not stream tomorrow, but I will definitely be streaming on Saturday for the One of Us charity event. So if you want to pop on down for that, it's pretty sick. It's pretty cool. It'll be it'll be a fun time. We'll be able to raise some money, which will be very very sweet. Um. Yeah, so if you want to if you want to catch that, please please do come on down watch that, and then uh, I'll be playing just some. I'm gonna be going back uh, home pretty soon to go visit my family, so we may be getting a stream from the original setup. Um, we may be getting a couple streams from the original setup, which will be kind of sick. Um, and then I'll play some more. I'm probably gonna just play some more random games because we're back. We're back into streaming. We're back into streaming. It's it's happened. I'm back. I'm back, baby. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys then. I'll finish. I will finish The Last of Us Part Two when I get back to the UK. Do not worry. That's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you wanna if you wanna follow, if you wanna subscribe, now will be the time. Your name will show up on screen, and I'll be able to go. Whoa! Look at that. Your name's on screen. Absolutely incredible. Um, yeah. Hope that you guys are doing good. Thank you for thank you all for all the follows and everything. It means a ton. Um yeah, if you wanna if you wanna follow, again, I do a lot of games. I play games and then I make I talk over them. So if you enjoy me talking over stuff, then you'll probably absolutely love this channel. Um so if you wanna follow, absolutely do it. I think I I would I would appreciate it a ton. 
Uh, thank you, Hazel, for the factor ones. Thank you. Thank you guys for all the subs and everything. It means a ton. Hope that you guys are all doing well. I will see you guys, if not tomorrow, then Saturday. Um, follow the WinRambu Live account on Twitter to know when I'm going to be live. Uh, I should probably set up something in the chat, maybe, to have people be able to know when I go live, but I'll see. Um, yeah, hope you guys have a great day today. I will see you guys... Uh, I'll see you guys on Saturday. All right. Hope you guys are doing well. Bye-bye. Oh, get the merch. Get the merch as well. Generationloss.tv. Get it. It, it. it funds the project. Jesus Christ, it funds the project. And I, need, I, have, I have bills to pay for this project. So if you could, get a little glurch. Get a little glurch. All right. I'll see you guys. All right. Bye-bye.